What is that thingy? So obviously, I know you you dip it in like that. I, I'm just gonna go for it. I think I kind of know what I'm talking about, but honestly, I'm not a girl, so I don't know what I'm doing. So we're gonna drop it in. It's like a little nuke. The device has entered the situation, and now I'm gonna just gonna pull up like a little popper. <sighs> that is not what I'm supposed to. Oh, <gasps> you push on that. You push on that, and now it's in. And you hold on that string. Don't let it go. Don't let it go, partner. Okay, it's in. That is huge. It expands that much in your the system? Well, this is interesting. Do you guys ever do this too? When it's inside, you kind of just like dip it around like a tea bag. I should stop talking now. Okay, I'm just going to pull it up because I've been playing with it too long. <laughs> and we're going to see how it, it comes out. Oh, oh. This entire thing had to fit out of that thingy. Many of us can also relate to the fact that a full soft tampon is a lot easier to remove than a dry thin tampon, but aside from the way that he's wiggling that thing around like a fish that he's caught, let's talk about how tampons actually work. Tampons are made from tightly compressed cotton or rayon fibers, sometimes both. So when they're inserted, they expand as they absorb menstrual fluid and they fit to the shape of your vagina. So that's why they can feel fine at first, but they get a bit uncomfortable when they're full or vice versa. If they are too absorbent for your lighter flow. So they don't suck up blood like a vacuum, they soak it and they swell, kind of like a sponge. You might see light options, regular, super, etc. on the box. That's based on how much blood they can hold, not the size of your vagina. So how much blood can they actually hold? Well, here's a rough guide depending on the absorbency of the tampon. Light usually only absorbs up to three mils of blood. Regular is three to five mils of blood. Super, five to nine mils of blood. And super plus, nine to 12 mils. So actually it's a very little amount of liquid if you think about it. So there's also other eco-friendlier options than these plastic ones he showed. There are organic or cotton tampons that are biodegradable. They're usually unscented and have fewer processing chemicals in them. Non-applicated tampons, which also means less plastic waste. Or you could switch to reusables like menstrual cups or period underwear. So did you know how big a full tampon can actually get? 